Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button because we are now 1 0 going into this matchup versus the Indianapolis Colts. And you can see on the screen, we are upgrading Zach Vigil. And remember, he's kind of listed as our third middle linebacker, but he is actually our second best middle linebacker in coverage. So he's in on a lot of a lot of passing downs. So he's in on nickel packages. You know, uh, I don't think we play too much dollar, but he gets in on dime packages as well. So he's in in a lot on the field. He's making pretty good plays in the first game, and uh, you can see here we're just training a few guys here. We have Ionitis, Darius Geis, and Jonathan Allen. We're training. So we're going into this game. This is our first home game for the Redskins so here's what I want I want to score points to be honest I mean that last game we didn't score any points I want the offense to get going in this game and going up against a Colts team who's probably projected to not be as good on offense or defense so we need to put up these points so here we go we're underway Adam Vinatieri kicks it deep this time uh, to Keith Marshall and he's gonna take it close to about the 25 yard line so here comes alex smith leading his offense and i just want to get the passing game going early in this game so on a first and 10 from the single back formation he's gonna find jamison crowder on the curl route that time so nice way to start this game but on the next play here's alex smith i don't know what he was looking at i think i've probably hit the wrong button on that and throw it threw it across the middle in an early turnover for Alex Smith so now here comes Andrew Luck you get to see him for the first time in almost two years and on his first pass he's throwing over the middle finding T.Y. Hilton his favorite target and the Colts are actually coming into this game 1-0 so they won their first game looking to build on that so on the next play here is indianapolis scoring on the touchdown and that is going to be a 7-0 game for the colts so here we are getting this running game going we need to get guys going you know he's he's projected to probably be the second best running back in the nfl as a rookie so we need to get him going there he is on the pitch play getting a nice 10 yard gain so here comes paul richardson over the middle finding him for a nice five yard gain so on a third and three from under center here we are finding josh doxson and he's getting open and getting the first down so now we're past the 50. we are in business so here is chris thompson getting the handoff up the middle and that's one thing i wanted to get going with him is get him running out of the shotgun and here is doxson one more time getting open on the out route and hopefully he can carry that on to later plays so here is alex smith from the shotgun on the 30 yard line but jabal sheared getting in for the sack that time so now we're facing a third and 13 from about a 35 yard line and al woods gets in for the sack and that's gonna push us back for a long field goal and hopkins just doesn't have the leg to hit this one so we come around come out of that drive empty-handed so here come the colts back on our offense on the first play throw in the ball deep to rogers in one-on-one -on -one coverage versus zach brown and i mean that is going to be a touchdown take another look i mean just a simple post route and he just gets beaten coverage and that's gonna be a early 14-0 lead in this first quarter so here comes alex smith back out on the next drive trying to get something going easy pass over the middle to a receiver and that's gonna be a first down so here's alex smith from the shotgun one more time throwing across the middle to josh doxson and that's going to be a nice eight, nine yard gain. So facing a third and two here under center, here he is, another easy throw, and this time it's to Sprinkle, and that's going to be a first down. So here comes Darius Geis onto the field on a first and 10, finally getting a nice running play. But look, there's a flag on the play, 
And look, it's a late hit. So we get helped out on that one, an extra 15 yards. So now we're in field goal range pretty much, but trying to get some points as far as touchdowns on the board. And here's Geis getting the reception over the middle, coming out of the backfield, and that's a first down. So now on the 19 yard line, here's Alex Smith from the shotgun, throwing across the middle. This time it's Jamison Crowder getting inside the 10 yard line. So now we're out the four yard line, on a third and goal, Alex Smith under center. Gonna throw the ball over the middle and look who it is. It's Paul Richardson, who I thought, man, I think he's gonna be an amazing receiver for the Redskins. And he gets us on the board first and Redskin Nation is loving that one as it is now 14 to seven. And this defense comes out rejuvenated as Ryan Kerrigan comes up with the tackle on that one, but facing a second and 10, here is Andrew Luck faking to Marlon Mack, throwing across the middle, and that's going to be caught that time over the middle. Uh, I believe that was Rodgers. So now on a second and nine, close to the 50-yard line, faking the handoff up the middle. He's going to throw the ball deep, and look who's open. T.Y. Hilton gets open, and that play fake may have Open up a spot in the deep zone that time. And Alex Smith inside the five-yard line on the three is going to find Marlon Mack in the flats. And he's wide open. And that's another touchdown. So three drives, three touchdowns for the Colts as they take the 21-7 lead. And you can see Jabal Sheard just abusing Morgan Moses on that one getting the sack so now facing a third and 21 they're sending the blitz but this time Jamison Crowder does burn the corner and that's a nice throw by Alex Smith facing the pressure and we convert the first down so now we're at the 50 yard line first and 10 and here is Alex Smith throwing the ball deep and that one's barely Bruh. going to be incomplete if Paul Richardson is just a little bit faster than that ball that's a touchdown. So now facing a third and 10 here, throwing the ball over the middle of Josh Doxson. He's getting going early on in this game. There's something we didn't see last game. So if you notice, we did bump up the quarter length to 10 minutes because we thought that, I mean, last week, I mean, the game went kind of fast and we didn't have realistic stats. So bumped it up to 10 minutes. You can see as uh, Chris Thompson does convert on the first down so now Alex Smith under center this time inside the 25 yard line and throwing over the middle and finding Vernon Davis so now inside the 15 yard line on a third and eight here's Alex Smith feeling pressure to his right rolling out left and look who it is it's Josh Doxson he gets open for the touchdown and he celebrate look at this glitch he's celebrating he's in the stands and on the field <laughs> Josh Doxson Hopefully this is a trend as he gets going in this game and we've seen his name called a lot and Alex Smith is maybe building some chemistry with him. So now back on on defense now down by seven points once again and on the first play Josh Norman comes up with the interception reads it and takes it all the way to the house and wow. What a turn of events as Washington ties this game up off of the Josh Norman read. Look at that. I mean, perfect read. We send the blitz, and Josh Norman knows that the quarterback's got to get rid of it because of the blitz. He jumps the route, and that's just a wily veteran making a move. So now it's 21 up here. It's inside of two minutes in the second quarter as Andrew Luck, can he put together a two minute drive? Here he is running a screen pass to Marlon Mack and Marlon Mack running into his blockers a little bit and DJ Swearinger does recover and catches him from behind. So now close to a minute left in the second quarter. Here is Luck throwing the ball deep to the right side and testing Norman and that is going to be a mistake as Norman comes up with his second interception on back-to-back -back drives. I mean, he had that one dialed in the whole time, and that's gonna be an easy interception for Norman. So, you know, if you've noticed any of my dynasties, any of my franchises, you know I don't switch on defense. It's, it's basically to give these players life 
and kind of create own press personalities and let the attributes speak for themselves and that's why you don't see me switching on defense I'm not gonna I'm gonna use her one guy the entire play on defense but if I do switch at all it's because it's out of habit but back to the game we just try to throw something deep there on a third and 20 right before half and that was actually a mistake because we give them the ball back past the 50 yard line with 40 seconds left so here's Andrew Luck here throwing the ball over the middle to Jack Doyle and the time is running they only have one timeout so now down to 17 seconds here play fade to Marlon Mack but finding Rodgers over the middle and that is going to set Vinatieri up with a field goal right before half so we are going to go into halftime down three points 24 21 and one thing I did want to show you guys was a little bit of the halftime report. I showed it a little bit last week, but I just want to show you the games that are kind of relevant to us. You see the Eagles winning 14 to 3 on the road versus the Buccaneers. And we start back out on the second half. They start with the ball. So here is Andrew Luck under center, faking the ball to Marlon Mack, throwing over the middle, and that's an easy completion there. And and that's gonna be a tackle that time. I believe by Orlando Scandrick. So now on a second and five, here is Andrew Luck under center one more time, throwing to Marlon Mack, making a move and getting a first down. So now they're close to the 50-yard line. And you, if you notice on the screen, Ioannidis is actually out for the game. He got hurt as Alex, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Andrew Luck throws across the middle and Zach Brown is there for the user lurk like I said on defense I do not switch at all and that was pure user as we take back over and here is Alex Smith back out on offense I'm getting Andrew and Alex kind of mixed up there but he, I'm getting it right this time Alex Smith rolling out for 13 yards and on a second and eight here is finally another good run but a flag on the play, a holding call Bruh. is going to bring this one back. And it's going to set up a third and long as we are now from the shotgun. Alex Smith, bunch set this time. Going to throw the ball over the middle. And this time we are going to convert. Reed does put the ball on the ground, though. And the Colts pick it up. So, man, we convert on that long one. But they do go to replay. Remember, all turnovers are replayed and it turns out his knee is down so we do get to keep the ball so now past the 50 yard line here under center second and 11 throwing the ball to Jordan Reed for a short gain and Jordan Reed hasn't really had a big game yet he hasn't had uh you know a lot of opportunities to make big plays but here's Alex Smith trying to roll out and Jabal Shear gets his third sack of the game so we have to punt this ball back to the Colts but look at our man our rookie settle and you know take a look at this play these are the type of plays that we need from our defenders look at him he just tosses the pulling guard and he makes the play oh on Marlon Mack God. those are the type of plays we need from our defensive line they're not getting much pressure we haven't had any sacks from any of our defensive linemen as Andrew Luck throws to T.Y. on a third and 11. And T.Y. actually gets the first, comes back, but puts a move on and does not recover. So now they had to punt the ball away. So now here comes Alex Smith back out onto the field. No team has scored here in the second half so far as this third quarter is just ticking away. And one more sack by Jabal Sheard. I mean, this guy is just abusing Morgan Moses, but look at this. Bad news for the Redskins as Alex Smith goes down. He heads to the locker room, and he is not going to return in this game. We don't know the extent of the injury, but we know that he's going to miss the rest of this game. So we have to punt the ball away back to the Colts as Andrew Luck in a pistol formation throws the ball deep and one more interception for this Washington Defense. I mean, this is insane. I mean, how accurate is Madden here? <laughs> this is Andrew Luck to a T. If he's not throwing touchdowns, he's throwing picks. But back out the first play, we give it to Chris Thompson, and he gets rocked. 
This time by Malik Hooker. Take another look. He comes up from the safety position and straight rocks Chris Thompson and gives the ball right back to the Colts. So now this second half is, or this fourth quarter, is officially underway as Mason Foster hasn't really gotten in because Vigil, remember, Vigil is in on most of the nickel and dime packages because he's better in coverage than Mason Foster. But Mason Foster does get the first sack of the year for the Washington Redskins. But take another look. Settle gets in, and he straight destroys Andrew Luck. That could have been kind of a late hit, and Andrew Luck is actually hurt. We may have an injury update with him later. I don't know the extent of that injury, but here comes Kevin Hogan back out onto the field for his first snap because, remember, Alex Smith is hurt, so that brings in the backup Kevin Hogan in a nice throw that time, and Paul Richard got tripped up on that one, and if that wasn't for that one shoestring tackle, I think Paul Richardson is gone for a touchdown as Kevin Hogan, two nice throws early on in this drive, and on a second and five this time, another sack given up by this offensive line, this time to John Simon. So now on a third and 15, here is Hogan from the shotgun, throw it to the outside, but we get bailed out. A pass interference on the defense allows us to continue this drive as we are now past the 35-yard line. So now on a third and 10 here, here's Kevin Hogan throwing across the middle and another flag on the play, holding once again as we now have to attempt another third and long, and that's Morgan Moses. He's having a hard time with Jabal Sheard on the outside, and almost on that one, Jabal Sheard almost made an inside move and got to Kevin Hogan, but that's an incomplete pass. So another punt. So there has been no points scored in this second half so far, and now we're down to four minutes left in the fourth quarter, and Andrew Luck is back in the game, and he makes a, ooh, that was a big mistake. That almost was his fifth interception of the game, but now facing a third and five years. Andrew Luck trying to throw to Jack Doyle, but his receiver, his tight end, is not on the same page, and they had to punt the ball away. So can we put up points? I mean, no team has put up points up to this point, and here we go. Three-minute drill, the four-minute drill here for Kevin Hogan, and this is an uncharted territory for him as he's stepping in, but he makes a couple of nice throws. That one to Chris Thompson, but on a screen pass, Marcus Hunt gets in for another sack by this Colts defense. So now facing a second and 17 play fake to Chris Thompson, and look who's wide open. Paul Richardson comes back to the ball, and nice pitch and catch that time by our receiver and Hogan. So now here on a first and 10, trying to get him some easy throws. We got time left, under two minutes. We just need to make sure we get on the board here. And with a quarterback that hasn't had much experience, we just need to get him some confidence on these throws as he throws across the middle that time. So here is Kevin Hogan giving the ball to Chris Thompson on the handoff up the middle, but look, I mean, these flags are just Bruh. killing us. Another holding call and it brings us to a third and eight as Kevin Hogan from the shotgun throwing across the middle and that one's almost a pick that almost pretty much ends the game so now a fourth and eight what is Kevin Hogan made of under center throwing to the left side and look who it is Mr. Reliable Jamison Crowder he converts for the first down so now we're at the 35 yard line under center easy throw over the middle we got 40 seconds left the time is ticking but we got three timeouts left so here is uh Hogan one more time on a third and six but this time Paul Richardson cannot drag his feet so now they ice us but can we hit this field goal with Hopkins with 30 seconds left? And that field goal is going to tie this game up and propel us into overtime. So overtime in the second game of the season. The first game was a bizarre one, 11-6. This one is another great game as we head to overtime and we receive the kick as the Colts lose the toss so now 
can Kevin Hogan put together a nice drive in overtime? And you can see the clock. It's at six minutes because, remember, we do have 10-minute quarters. I guess overtime is kind of reduced. So here is Kevin Hogan once again throwing to the right side, finding his favorite target, one of his favorite targets, Chris Thompson. So now on a second and five from the shotgun this time. And our offensive line's finally protecting the quarterback as we do throw across the middle, find Jamison Crowder. So now facing a third and four now, a little bit past the 50-yard line, and look who it is. It's Doxon open again for a reception. That's actually Vernon Davis there for the reception. So now here comes Chris Thompson finally getting some running lane. No flag on this one as he has 43 yards rushing in this game. So you see this clock? It's going down. There's two minutes left. And remember the overtime rules? Oh, did you guys see that? Tipped at the line. Richardson comes up with the tip. So we are bailed out. But remember the overtime rules? If you score... On a field goal, the other team gets an opportunity, but if the time runs out, I mean, that's game over. So we get to this point where we're like, okay, let's milk this clock all the way down. So 50 seconds left, facing a third and six, and a nice pass that time to Doxon. And that is basically going to seal this fate as we now get inside the five-yard line with Darius Geis, and I'm going to let this clock Roll all the way down for a final opportunity for a game winner. And that's going to be 2-0. and oh. Hail to the Redskins. Let's go. We start out this season 2-0 and oh with, our, with a great win at home. But we do have some bad news in this game as Alex Smith does end up hurt. And Kevin Hogan actually steps up. He, he had a great game. But 16 for 20 for Hogan. But Alex Smith, I mean, I don't know the extent of the injury. We'll find out next week when the doctors come to us. Let us know the extent of the injury. But Jamison Crowder actually goes over 100 yards in this game. Doxon has a great game. Nine receptions for him as I liked what I saw from this team in this game. I mean, we had a tough first half. On, on defense, we gave up 24 points, but then we came back in, out in the second half and shut them out. And that's exactly what we want to see from this team because we're going to have a lot of teams that we're playing that have great offenses. So great team winning this one. Norman with two picks. Zach Brown with two picks. I mean, what a great game from this secondary. I was very, very impressed by Norman. Hopefully, he can continue to be the leader on the defense. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, because this season's just getting started. 2-0. Hail to the Redskins. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.